South Korea and the United States will go ahead with the joint military drills this week despite a warning from North Korea that the drills would set back progress in improving inter-Korean relations. Calling Seoul treacherous sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said that the drills were an unwelcome self-destructive action that threatened the North Korean people and raised tensions in the Korean peninsula. She also warned that North Korea would prepare to have a strong preemptive strike capability to counter ever increasing U.S. military threat. Kim Yo-jong's latest remarks come despite a recent surge, a recent surprise thaw in Korean Peninsula, prompted in parts by a series of personal letters exchanged between her brother and South Korean President Moon Jae-in. The two sides had also just last month restored cross-border communications that were severed for more than a year. But North Korea's reaction to drills threatened to open efforts by South Korean president to restore relations. The drills called crisis management staff training are designed to examine the allies' readiness to respond to a potential contingency. It will be held from today until Friday before switching to full-scale exercises scheduled to be held from August 16th to 26th. South Korea's defense ministry said the timing, scale and formation of drills were not finalized yet. The United States has around 28,500 troops in South Korea as a legacy of the 1950 Korean War. The war had ended in an armistice rather than a peace deal, which left the peninsula in a technical state of war. The exercises were scaled back in recent years to facilitate talks amid aimed at dismantling Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs in return for an end to U.S. sanctions. But negotiations collapsed in 2019 and both sides say it is up to the other to take the first step. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.